Hello friends, and welcome to Lunar Magic, Full Hunter's Moon in Aries. So today, we are looking at the full moon in Aries, and how we can tap into and work with this energy. There will be five sections, full moon information, hunter moon, seasonal placement information, blood moon information, full moon in Aries, and how to work with this energy. A full moon occurs when the moon directly faces the sun and illuminates her entire face. It is often referred to as the strongest point in the lunar cycle. The full moon is about peaking and releasing the old, releasing that which no longer serves you, and is a wonderful time to cut ties and come into your own and stand in your own. Own your growth, your healing, and throw out those things that aren't you anymore. Release patterns, behaviors, thoughts, feelings, emotions, experiences, beliefs, energies, friendships, relationships, roles, jobs, anything that no longer serves you, anything that is inhibiting your growth, release it in all its forms. Let it be. Surrender to the universe. Surrender to the moon and her cycles. It is a power time, powerful time for inner work, for looking within, healing, shifting blocks, and shedding the past. A time of rebirth. The full moon helps to illuminate the darkness and the deepest parts of ourselves that we usually can't see. We see where things are out of balance and harmony, paying particular attention to where we're putting our energy, our money, our time, our thoughts, our emotions. Opening up. Open yourself to receive everything that you've been working towards, the fruits of your labors. It's a perfect time for gratitude and looking at how far we have come. Engage in celebration, harvest, and rituals of abundance and manifestation. It's a powerful time for protective magic, cleansing, charging, healing, fulfilling your heart's desire. A time to dedicate to your visions and goals and take action and put steps in place to enable your abilities to achieve these things. Letting go and reassessing is very important. The wheels of the year. This moon is referred to as the hunter moon, aka the blood moon, the vine moon, the falling leaf moon. The leaves fall from the trees and the fields stand empty after harvest. 
The forest animals have fattened up for the winter ahead. The thinning leaves and the empty fields made this an easy time to hunt in preparation for the winter ahead. Associated with the blood from hunting and the turning of leaves in autumn, with autumn in full swing, October's energies urge us to continue to clear out physically, spiritually, emotionally, energetically, and prepare for the coming winter. October is a perfect time for connecting with past loved ones, ancestors, spirit guides, and more. As the veil between the worlds becomes thinner as we approach Samhain, Halloween, the hunter's full moon. It's about honoring that which has passed, the plants, the animals that gave us our, their lives to sustain ours and our ancestors who brought us into being and helped shape our world. It serves as a solemn reminder of the endless cycle of life and death, symbolizing the time for shed shedding what no longer serves you and building up provisions and healthy habits for the long winter ahead. Strength and endurance, protection, guidance, change, transition. You have a layered personality. And it takes time to get to know the real you. Sometimes you feel like a loner and are constantly striving for companionship. You need to learn to accept others as they are. And that includes yourself too. blood moon. There are two kinds of full moons that are referred to as blood moons. One, the full moon after the autumn equinox, the hunter moon. And two, the full moon lunar eclipse, where the moon turns red. Blood moons are a special occasion used to honor and celebrate life and the blood flow of life. This energy of the moon can be used to energize fertility, abundance, communications with spirit, yourself, and the universe. Often viewed as a omen of destruction to come. We can draw on this cosmic energy because with destruction comes renewal. Use this clearing as a foundation for transformation, growth, and change. Make peace with your past and understand your shadow self. Balance these energies and enhance your magical powers. Aries, full moon. Intense, healing, insight. Falling in the sign of Aries on October 20th, the full moon will activate the energies of Mars, Pluto, and Uranus, creating a T-square. This configuration of energy can create a building of tension but sometimes we need tension in order to inspire action. 
Sometimes it takes feeling stretched to our limits in order to put our foot down, speak our truth, set our boundaries, and act in an effort to change our situation. In essence, this is what this full moon is calling us to do, to take affirmative action, to decide what action to take and do it. Be firm, stand in your ground, and communicate what you need. Sometimes it's about making the best decision we can at this moment and taking action. Remember, every decision and action we take is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to shift our life in a new direction. This full moon can be a bit of a reality check, helping us to reassess some of our goals and dreams and what we have been doing or not doing in order to achieve them. Do your goals and dreams still resonate with where you want to be heading in your life? We still have cardinal energy, bringing in a momentum, an action to do as we say. This full moon can help you make some, make some productive steps and help you to come to term with the fact that it's time to move on and perhaps set your sights elsewhere. Think about what needs to be shed, released, and adjusted so you can continue to move in harmony with the direction of your current path. I feel like it is a time of rebirth, a time to stand in your skin and be true authentic to yourself. Peel back the layers to be reborn as the next you, an improved you, a stronger you, a you built on the foundation of every you you have been. Aries energy can be tapped in to bring strength, confidence, assertion. It is very much an I am energy. Often seen as selfish, it carries this energy of looking after the self. Embrace this energy and build strong habits, patterns, and roots to support yourself on all levels. There is nothing selfish about looking after yourself, looking within, releasing the old, and embracing the new, moving forward. Take active steps forward. When we look after ourselves, we are more ready to spread love to others. Ways to work with this energy. Reassess and release. Look at your goals, where you stand. Is it all still in alignment? What changes need to be made? Release those things that no longer serve. You can do a full moon release. I like to write down all the things I want to release. I read them to the moon. I then destroy them in the manner that I see fit to the Zodiac. I will burn them with Aries energy. Stand in yourself. Use this assertive energy of Aries to stand firm in yourself. Stand your ground, set your boundaries, communicate your needs. Manifest the reality you want within yourself, your mind, your emotions, your feelings, your reality. Now is the time to say, I am, to see and appreciate yourself for who you are and where you stand. Take those actions that will strengthen yourself and your interaction with others. Use this selfish energy to serve yourself. Give yourself what you need. 
do things for yourself. Work through your fears. Mars energy is fearless. It is a great time to overcome fears. Work through where your fears are justified, where they are linked to others or past experiences. Acknowledge those fears for what they are. For on the other side are your next steps. All fears are rooted somewhere. By finding the roots, we can begin to pluck away the root cause of those fears. By looking at our fears and seeing where they are justified, we can release. Many fears are rooted in the past. They are reactions to past situations and have no reflection on our present. Fears are here to keep us safe and teach us where we need to heal and release. Celebrate you. Think about the ways you have transformed and rebirthed yourself. What does this new you do? Who do you want to be? Where do you want to go next? Celebrate yourself in all your forms and see where you have let go of the past, outdated habits, behaviors, and embrace the new. It's time to celebrate and release all doubts and fears and prepare for the next step on the cycle. Use this I am energy and universal momentum to build yourself up, motivate, celebrate, and praise yourself. Spend time on yourself. Meditate. Do spiritual processing, physical activities, rituals, art, music, dancing, connecting with your guides, the universe, yourself. Whatever you're drawn to do, honor and nourish your soul and the journey you are on. Spend time on yourself allows you to nourish yourself, as well as finding new perspectives and inspiration. Build that intuition. A particular, it's a particularly good time to connect to your intuition. Look at things from a spiritual perspective. Work with your intuition and guides and other mechanisms that help you with guidance in your day-to-day -day practice. Improving and initiating connection with your intuition, your guides, is a great way to take an enhanced action and use this action-oriented energy to introduce a daily intuitive practice and begin to see the strength in your connection with yourself and the world around you. Use whatever deviation techniques resonate with you like tarot oracle oracles pendulum etc work on your emotions especially anger mars rules aries and anger is a valid emotion that is often emphasized by celestial forces Tap into this Aries and Mars energy and look at your aggression. What triggers your anger? What other emotions are underlying your anger? Anger is a secondary emotion, so something is causing that frustration to bubble. Learn your triggers and frustrations. It's a very helpful way to begin working with your anger, for anger itself isn't a negative emotion. It's just often expressed negatively. Anger itself serves a purpose to ignite us, to show us imbalances, to lead us to areas that need healing, and to fight for injustices in all its forms. Learning to work with your anger and limits. Learning to work with your anger limits its negative forms of expression and will help enable communications with yourself and others. 
look at where you can focus your energy and what actions you take and how you feed your manifestations. Make sure the energy you are feeding into the arenas in your life is the kind of energy you want to create. Peace, joy, love, abundance, acceptance. Leadership. Where can you take leadership in your life? Are you leading by example? Do you follow your words with actions? How can you develop skills to increase your leadership to hold yourself accountable in your growth? How are you going to lead into this new cycle? Harness this Aries energy to release those things that no longer serve you, those things that inhibit your growth. Allow them to be in surrender to the universe. Work with your anger and your aspects of leadership. Celebrate yourself. Spend time nourishing yourself and looking within and looking at the signs around you and connecting with yourself and the full moon, of course. Look up to the sky, see her in all her beauty and know that with every cycle, it will come again. And that, my friends, is today's episode of Lunar Magic. I'd love to hear what you get up to this full moon in Aries and any ways that you like to work with Aries energy and the hunter moon. I hope your day is magical and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, my friends.